All right, guys, so today's video, I'm working on something uh, quick and easy because I've got a very short week, uh, weekend this weekend, uh, to do any work on my stuff, like my 57 Chevy or, or, or whatever. I will be getting to that soon. Uh, but since it's such a short week and I didn't put a video out last week, I got to do something quick and simple. And I think I found something quick and simple. It just kind of fell in my lap. So I bought a 1992 Jeep Wrangler. It just fell in my lap. Uh, it's been sitting for several years. I paid $500 for this thing. $500. It's been sitting for a while of leaves uh, I came with I, I guess the top it's got aftermarket rims on it I don't even know what engine size uh, this thing has I'm guessing it's got the four-cylinder in it 2.5 liter four-cylinder it is a stick shift which is lovely so it's a pretty good looking uh, Jeep like I said it's been sitting a long time I have not popped the hood. I'm only guessing that it's the four cylinder. Honestly, I kind of hope it's the four liter, but uh, I'm totally fine with the four cylinder. So let's pop this hood. Are y'all ready? It is the four cylinder. Look at that. I mean, I'm not surprised at all. Totally fine with it. Uh. It looks like everything is there. Oh wow, it even has the jack here. Still has a battery in it. So the story I was told was the guy that owned this Jeep, he was saving it for his 16 year old daughter. Uh, he parked the Jeep mainly because it wasn't running quite right. I don't know. So, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, fast forward. She turns 16, he buys her a brand new Jeep. What a great dad, right? And then uh, he just decided to sell it to this guy, me. So let me put a battery in it and find out what happens. That's got 162,000 miles on it. It had a bikini top on it. I still got it. But I took it off because it, uh, the wind was flapping it. So I got a battery on charge. Let's uh, remove this battery and install the new one. Ah, but I got to go ahead and check the water and stuff. The coolant. Oh, it's, it's empty. It does not look good. So I'm gonna have to top that up. Let's check the oil. Oh. It is bare it is barely touching the stick. <laughs> That's another not good sign. So let's put some oil in it and some coolant. And go from there. I don't even know if the brakes work on this thing. We're going to add yeah. I'm going to add at least a quart and a half of oil to it. It might be like two quarts low, but I'm going to be changing the oil anyways. So I'm just going to be topping it up. Oil.
the battery's installed, the oil is in it, we got coolant. Let's see what happens when we hit the key. Alright, clutch works, brakes are iffy. Key on, and I've got nothing. Try the lights. I got nothing. All right, so I'm gonna just leave the lights on, and uh, we're gonna play around with things until the lights come on. So I'm pretty sure the battery is is good. Oh, looky there. That's a problem. Now, I, I swear, I didn't know anything about that. I just, for some reason, went right to it. So, we've got to fix that. Uh, the reason why I went to this is, I know the battery's charged. And with the lights not working and stuff, I immediately think of a fuse box and stuff. So, let's disconnect the battery here. And uh, we're gonna fix this. Looks like someone might have put this together before. Uh, it looks like a pretty easy fix. Hopefully, hopefully that was the whole problem. I, I don't. I, I really doubt it's gonna be that easy. Ten millimeter wrench here. Someone has added this in. This is not a stock and it's like a stereo connector. Seems like a pretty tight fit. Of course, I failed to put the uh, end piece on. It'll be all right. So this is somebody's repair, and they didn't do a very good job. Tight. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see if the headlights work. Well, I got to hook up the battery first. All right, I heard a little spark when I hooked it up. Lights. Hey, we have lights. Let's try cranking it up.
be the quickest revival ever. Power steering works. 40 pounds of pressure. It's got three quarters of a tank. Don't know if that's true. It needs a muffler. Let's see if uh, the gears work. Clutch in. Reverse. Uh, we got we got brake issues. The brakes do work. seems to be running really good uh, I did notice that this thing isn't even equipped with air conditioning no air conditioning at all on this I gotta tell you my other Jeep I absolutely love the air conditioning dude oh I didn't even have to give 500 bucks for it. So how much money do we have in here? A 75, 85, 95, a dollar. I gave $499 for this Jeep. Ugh, it's full of water. This thing sounds good. Okay, so before this thing gets on the road, we're gonna have to do some brake work. So I'm gonna go ahead and run to the store and I'm gonna order some uh, brake calipers. Actually, I'm gonna put this inside and I'm gonna jack it up and I'm gonna see which wheels are stuck. I'm betting that it's the front calipers. So let's pull it back in. spinning freely and the rear right one spinning freely so front brakes all right you ready thank you
right, now it's time for the road test. Let's see what happens. For watching guys i'll catch y'all later i wonder if it'll do a burnout does the e-brake work e-brake works Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all later. Happy Father's Day, Dad. They should name that alligator. That's it.